My name is Sarath. I'm a PhD student in EC department working with Professor Rajesh Sundaresan. In this short presentation, I would like to provide an overview of my PhD research. I broadly work on the problem of large time behavior and metastability in network systems. To explain the problem, let us consider a Wi-Fi example. This Wi-Fi example has 30 wireless nodes and each node has a state associated with it. That state can either be 0, 1 or 2. The state of a node essentially represents the aggressiveness with which a packet is transmitted. So in this example, state 2 is the most aggressive state and state 0 is the least aggressive state. Now each node changes its state over time depending on whether a packet transmission results in a collision or a successful transmission. And what we see here is the evolution of the states in this system under the medium access control protocol. So in this picture, the x-axis shows the fraction of nodes in state zero, y-axis shows the fraction of nodes in state one, and the remaining fraction is in state two, which is not shown. Now, this example is constructed in such a way that there are two stable equilibria, one near the origin and one near this point, 0.5, 0.5. The equilibrium near the origin is a bad equilibrium because everyone is in state two and everyone attempts too frequently, thereby nobody getting access to the channel. Whereas the equilibrium near 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is a good equilibrium because everyone gains equal amount of access to the channel. So in this example, we start the system somewhere here. And we see that for a very long time, the system essentially remains in the neighborhood of this good equilibrium, but eventually it transits from this good equilibrium to the bad equilibrium. So essentially in this example, there are multiple uh, regions of operation, multiple stable regions of operation, operation in the system and a transition from one region to another region occur very rarely and it occurs over a very long duration of time. So such a phenomena, where the system exhibits very different behavior over different time scales is called the metastability phenomenon. And the goal of my research is to understand such phenomenon in a network system such as uh, Wi-Fi networks, load balancing networks, uh, societal networks, etc. And then we use uh, such insights that is obtained from analysis of large time behavior uh, to use them for better system design. So here are my contributions. So we first consider what is called a mean field model. So in a mean field model, there are n particles and each particle has a state associated with it, which evolves over time in a Markovian fashion. And the transition rate depends only on the mean field or the transition rate depends only on what fraction of particles are in state one, what, partic what fraction of particles are in state two and so on. That's called the mean field. And the first contribution is the study of metastability in finite state mean field models. So we consider a mean field model where the state of each particle comes from a finite set. For such a model, we studied exit time estimates. That is what is the time it takes for the system to go from one stable equilibrium to the other. We also studied convergence to stationarity. That is how much time it takes for the system to be very close to the stationarity. And we also studied to how to control the process in order for the process to go to a desired equilibrium. The second contribution is the study of an, a slightly more general mean field model where we have a randomly varying environment. So in such a model, we studied what is called the, what is called process level large deviation principle. So we established a process level large deviation principle what that essentially gives us uh, probabilities of deviation of the system from a typical trajectory. And then we used the contribution one to study large time behavior as well as exit times for such a system. The third contribution is the study of a mean field model with a countable state space. That is each node, the state of each node comes from a countable set. For example, a system of interacting queues. In such a system, 
uh, we have made progress on establishing large deviations for the invariant measure and this is currently work in progress thank you